So the head of your East Coast sales team comes to you and says, can I get an export of all of the leads that we were working on on that marketing campaign that we worked on together last week? And I just want to have a log into my Marketo instance, so I, so to your Marketo instance, so I can just go in and pull it out myself. Well, my name is Michael Tucker from the Conversion Store, and we're a Marketo uh, certified partner. And we run into this challenge all the time where you don't want to necessarily grant that person access to the Marketo instance. Where they might accidentally change something that uh, makes your marketing campaign work incorrectly. So what we're going to show you today is how you can set up your Marketo instance to automatically send them an email with the export once a week so that they can go ahead and download a CSV file uh, directly from their email from their inbox uh, without having to go into the nuances of Marketo and, uh, and and we'll show you how to be able to do that with a couple of mouse clicks. Okay so looking at our Marketo instance I'm gonna go back to the same program that we were talking about uh, in a previous Marketo Minutes episode where we're talking about the parking lot party. And so inside of the parking lot party I've created a smart list. And in that smart list I'm keeping all of the registered users that are that have a status of registered in my program. So we'll go here, we'll put in member of program, we'll add in a constraint that says program status is registered. And when we, and, and the event for this, just to check, go back here, this actually says live event. So I, double want, I want to double check my smart list criteria. And it's not webinar registered, it's going to be registered for a live event. And so now when I go to pull up my criteria, I see that I have a thousand people that are in this smart list. And this is the list that I want to send to my sales director. So instead, you could go through and you could export this and you could you could go ahead and say, send him comma separated values over and over and over again. Um, but you, that takes time out of your day and time out of his day and, or somebody else's day to be able to grab that information. So instead, we're going to go to list actions and create a new smart list subscription. And the beauty of this is you can say uh, registered uh, event registration list. You can pick any name you want. And here for recipients, I'm going to pick Marketo or marketing at conversionstore.com. Okay. It's not a email address that is in this Marketo instance. There is no user that says marketing at conversionstore.com in this Marketo instance. And that's the beauty of this is you don't have to have a Marketo account to be able to get the export of this specific data. But you as the marketer, as the Marketo administrator, have the ability to be able to choose what data that you want to send to this person. And so you can send it every day if you want to. Um, so let's say that the event is happening next Thursday. I can set an end date here and say I want to send that next Thursday. Um, but uh, if you want, you can also say if this is going to be a uh, evergreen content, uh, an evergreen program that's going to be running perpetually uh, inside of your instance, you can pick a recurring date of the week or send out at the very beginning of the month. Um, and so let's say I want to send this every Friday. And I can pick my format here, and uh, this is going to be updated, by the way. There'll be new uh, formats that'll be available soon. Um, but uh, but let's say comma separated values, um, and we'll say create. And so this is taking you to a summary of all of the subscriptions. If you want, you can run this right now to go to marketing at conversionstore.com. Um, one thing that I have found really helpful as you're dealing with different types of stakeholders is they only want specific type of information here. So you can also go in and click this edit column name and add in, let's say, the annual revenue for the company. Um, and let's say you want the billing address and the billing information. And I just held down uh, shift there and clicked to pick multiple entries and just added that to, to my exported list. So now I'm going to go ahead and say this isn't going to send until every Friday, but I'm going to run an example of one right now to go ahead and send to marketing at conversionstore.com. 
Okay, so it's going to take a minute here to be able to send out. And once it does, then I'm going to flip over to Outlook and take a look in my inbox and we'll show you what that email looks like so that you get a sense of exactly what the sales lead is going to see when they get a copy of this. So we'll flip over to Outlook right now and take a look. Okay, so now when we go into Outlook and we open up the email that we receive, we'll see a uh, email that'll come in from Marketo Analytics at no reply at marketo.com. And we have a download report button that allows us to be able to quickly pick out a um, uh, just a spot on a hard drive to, to go ahead and download a report. So I'm just gonna say save uh, on another screen that I've got open here and we'll just pull up the report and what this exports out to is a CSV that uh, the, the sales leader can then take and take a look at and actually pull out a, um, uh, a report and, and do whatever he wants to with this report. If he wants to save it to other people, great. Um, if he wants to use it in their CRM, totally up to him. Uh, and um, and basically this is coming without having a login to Marketo. So um, we'll show you in other episodes about how to be able to set up other types of reports using Revenue Cycle Explorer and some of the other uh, different tools that are available if you do want to give uh, some reporting access to some of your individual stakeholders. But for now, this is an easy to use way, couple of mouse clicks to easily and frequently send over information to somebody who's not a Marketo user.